tonight. A legion of Crows fans storms into Victoria to back up Adelaide in the heart of enemy territory. Police investigate the death of a pedestrian struck by a car as he walked along a country road on the south coast. And a courageous first outing for Sammy the Staffy on the road to recovery from her traumatic burns injuries. Ten News at Five with George Denikian. Good evening. First tonight, thousands of die-hard Crows fans are arriving at the MCG to back their team in what will be a do-or-die clash with Collingwood tonight. Ian Shuttleworth is at the G, and Ian, uh, I dare say, the feathers set to fly when the Crows and Pie fans actually come together. I think you're right, George. About 70,000 people are expected here at the MCG tonight. Now, of that, around about 15,000 should be Crow supporters, and they are a very dedicated mob too. Some have just started arriving at the ground by buses, and it's been a very long day for them. Some have been on a bus all day. They'll watch the game. As soon as it's finished, they'll hop back on those same buses and make the trip back home. It's a very, very expensive and exhaustive journey for them. But earlier, we caught up with some of the more, dare I say it, enthusiastic supporters. Well, it was about 10 to 12 hours and I uh, left at 5.30 in the morning when it was still dark and pretty good drive. We stopped a few times. Not bad. Good feeling in there. Well, we win. Uh, good midfield pressure, I think. Um, our forward line's pretty dominant and uh, obviously our back line, the old guns, McLeod. Rusci oh, no, not Rusciuto, <laughs> I wish. Go Crows! <laughs> Crows will win, yeah, go Crows! More supporters are arriving by buses as I speak, just about 50 metres or so away. Now, the Adelaide Footy Club administrators say they have the best supporters in the country. Why? They say their supporters go to greater lengths than anyone else to see them around the country. They make trips east, west, far and wide, and plenty are expected here tonight, as I mentioned. But let's hear more about how this pre-dawn journey started for some of them. How's the serenity? Do you honestly think there'll be time for sleep? Woo! Finals fever started brewing outside the crow's shed at 5am. Yeah, couldn't get much earlier than this. Seven buses, 350 fans and 10 hours of... Spare a thought for the driver. I have earplugs, but that's probably the best thing to have on this trip. And if the boys didn't already have enough to play for, Liz James has this message. I've got breast cancer and this could be it for me. It really means a lot to me and my family. As the crow flies, it's certainly quicker, but when you're chartering two jets, well, who's thinking about money at this time? Oh, I've hardly slept a wink for a week. And confidence is oozing. All the way. We're going to be as good as what we were in, in 97 and 8. An absolute thumping of those Collingwood maggots. Oh, they must have been sipping on their Chardonnay a little bit early. So uh, I, I wouldn't uh, take too much notice what a crow supporter says. No, I'm not in Melbourne. This is actually the director's hotel in Goodger Street, which we've sniffed out is the safe haven for all of South Australia's Collingwood supporters. So if you're a closet magpie, this is the place to be watching tonight. Room for one more? Yeah! Oh, it's been very hard. My boss is singing the Crows song every time he walks past me. All this for a semi-final? I want the same one next week and the week after. What's that about counting chickens? Here, they're counting crows. Brett Clavis, 10 News. They are very, very keen. I'm starting to lose my voice. I think a few of those supporters will probably do the same tonight, given the amount of yelling they will be doing. But I will be back later in sport. We'll grab the last word from one of the Crows' assistant coaches, Mark Bickley, and all the latest goss as the team left their hotel for the MCG right here, George. Yes, thank you, Ian. Ian Shuttleworth reporting live from the MCG with a rather scratchy voice.